Now, News Channel 9, weekend at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm James Gaddis. The countdown clock already ticking tonight as Orange Nation awaits SU's matchup against Michigan in the final four. Tip time is now set for 8.49 Saturday night. The team arrived back home in Syracuse just before midnight last night to dozens of fans clamoring for an autograph or photo from the hometown heroes. It's been 10 years since this kind of excitement swept Syracuse. But the road ahead will not be easy. Michigan is seemingly unafraid of what the Orange bring to the court. News Channel 9, Lindsay LaCourie is in the studio tonight with more on that. Hi, Lindsay. Coming up a little later in sports. All right, thank you, Lindsay. Well, number one, Louisville was the last team to advance to the Final Four today, and it was an emotional win over Duke, to say the least. While trying to block a shot in the first half, Cardinal sophomore Kevin Ware's right leg buckled, causing it to break in two places. The injury so gruesome, we've chosen not to show that video. Now, the sophomore fell to the floor in agony, while his teammates and head coach Rick Pitino began to cry. Ware was taken off the court on a stretcher. He is hospitalized tonight and said to be resting comfortably. A number of SU players tweeted their support to Ware. Point guard Michael Carter-Williams simply said, pray for Kevin Ware. And junior forward C.J. Fair posted, prayers go out to Kevin Ware from Louisville. Hate to see someone go down like that. Stay strong, my man. Well, we're now less than a week away from the final four games, which is just enough time to snag some great travel deals. News Channel 9's Lee Isaacson breaks down the best ways to get to Atlanta. Lee Isaacson, News Channel 9. And if you didn't get your tickets to see SU and Michigan play just yet, log on to 9WSYR.com. We've posted links to the NCAA website, StubHub, and Syracuse University. And remember, News Channel 9 is your place for the most comprehensive Final Four coverage from here in central New York and down in Atlanta. Sports Director Stephen Fondi and Carrie Lazarus will be making the trip with the team this week. Look for live reports from the Georgia Dome beginning Thursday at 5 o'clock. As we await next Saturday's matchup against the Michigan Wolverines, we want to know how you're showing your orange pride. Share your photos at 9WSYR.com or post them to our Facebook page. We've received more than 100 photos so far, so keep them coming. We may even use yours right here on the air. A wet end to this Easter Sunday. Rain showers and wind put a damper on any outdoor plans you may have had. And while we may see a quick reprieve tomorrow, snow is in our future. Storm Team Meteorologist Julia Wyden is in early with a first look at Central New York's most accurate forecast. Hi, Julia. We'll be talking about those more in the full forecast, James. Oh, man, winter does not want to go away. Thank you, Julia. Well, in just a few hours, you'll likely start seeing a new round of anti-smoking ads. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will release a second second set of ads featuring real-life stories from people harmed by tobacco. The CDC hopes the campaign called Tips from Former Smokers will save lives, money, and reduce the suffering caused by cigarettes. They say tobacco is the leading cause of preventable death in the U.S. and that it triggers $200 million a year in health care costs. An estimated 1,200 people die from tobacco use every day. New at 11, a fiery chain reaction crash in southwest Virginia on a day when many were traveling to celebrate Easter. Three people were killed and more than 20 injured in the 75-vehicle pileup along I-77. State police say heavy fog may have contributed to the series of crashes near the North Carolina border. They are continuing to investigate tonight. Easter Sunday was celebrated by people across the country and the world. Today is the day on the Christian calendar when Christ rose from the dead after his crucifixion, a fundamental belief that is the foundation on which the faith is built. ABC's Chuck Siversen has that story. Chuck Siversen, ABC News. Well, back here in central New York, the rescue mission served up 300 Easter dinners to those in need, and another 80 were delivered to homeless families in Auburn. Today's generous work wouldn't have been possible without the help of more than three dozen volunteers, at least one of whom knows what it's like to go without. A gentleman 18 years ago had come through the rescue mission. Sadly, Thornton says the need in our community continues to grow. On average, the rescue mission serves about 775 meals a day, which is 80 more than last year. If you'd like to donate food or money to help, just head to 9WSYR.com and we'll show you how.
Still to come tonight, a spending extravaganza. You might be surprised how much Americans spent on Easter this year. But first, Signets coming soon. Faye from the Manly Swan Pond has laid three more eggs. I'll tell you when the babies are expected to make their debut. That's next. You're watching News Channel 9. Now, Central New York's most accurate forecast. 11, 14, 43 degrees. SU's in the final four. I don't think there's much that could put a damper on this weekend yeah. or on our Easter Sunday. Oh, the rain might have just a little bit, but that, that's headed on out now, right? Yeah, it's moving out. High of 50 degrees with sun and clouds. Thank you, Julia. A special delivery in Manlius today for Easter. Faye, one of two swans who call the Manlius Swan Pond home, has laid three eggs. And Manny, the male swan, is protecting them along with volunteers now known as Swan Patrol and a security camera. The biologists who donated the swans told us the eggs laid this week are still dormant and much like seeds need water to grow, the eggs need heat from Fay. The incubation period lasts about 37 days so they should all hatch in May. We will of course keep you posted. A Big East Tournament Championship rematch is very possible between SU and Louisville. And just in case anybody cares in this basketball-centric area, uh -huh. the MLB opening day is tomorrow. Mets oh. and Yankees. Sounds good. All right. And that'll do it for us tonight. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next weekend with plenty more Final Four coverage from Atlanta. Have a great night.